folks, it's Daniel here from Shoot Create Captivate. Today, I wanted to share an amazing plugin that I discovered recently that deals with skin retouching. Now, for you guys who are tuned into my tutorials, you've probably watched the frequency separation tutorial where I covered how I use frequency separation to clean up this young lad's skin. Okay, you can see that it's got quite a lot of acne, it's quite a lot of imperfections, and it did take us a bit of time to actually correct those imperfections in the skin and create a beautiful portrait of the young lad here right so after i'd done that tutorial I, I thought to myself there must be an automated way of doing this process and lo and behold i discovered a plugin creator called retouch for me okay and we're going to have a look at that there's two parts to this plugin uh, or there's two plugins that I've purchased from these guys i'm in no way affiliated with retouch for me i've just I, I just want to get this out to you guys because it's really going to help speed up your workflow, especially when you've got subjects like this uh, and you might have multiple images from a shoot where you've got subjects like this and you want to have a fast, responsive, automated way of dealing with skin. Okay, this is going to blow your mind, folks. It did when I ran it first. So it's called Retouch for Me Heal. Um, in the links below, I've got links out to their website so you guys can go and check it out. But let's run this. Let's see how fast this does this. Okay. All right. Just bear in mind, if you go back to that frequency separation tutorial, or it's in the frequency separation fundamentals tutorial, you would have seen how long it took me to fix up this young lad's face. Now, time me from this point forward. Okay. So retouch for me here. Click it once. And it's done. Look at that. We've dealt with all of that acne in one single click. Look at that. Here's the before and here's the after. In fact, let me run that again, okay? Let me create a copy of our layer here, Control J, and go to Filter, Retouch for me, Retouch for me here. And it runs, it does its little calculation there, and look at that. All of that acne is gone. Now, the preview that you see here inside of there inside of their bit of software isn't high resolution. So I'm just going to press apply here and we're going to look at the before and after on our original image. So before and after, look at the amount of detail that it's gone into and seen as imperfections and it's fixed it up for us. Okay. Now just remember that we still got control over our image. We've created another layer here so we can still apply a mask and we can mask out areas that we don't necessarily want to to smooth out okay i wouldn't say smooth out but all to maybe get rid of spots etc okay so there's the first layer this is the first plugin that i'm going to show you guys today now when we look at this image you can still see that there's some imperfections on the skin let me create another blank layer here quickly okay and what we're going to do is i'm just going to draw on this blank layer and i'm just going to identify areas which i think are imperfections in the tonalities of the skin so we've got an area over here over here, you can see that there's some little spotty areas and blotchy areas over here, particularly across the forehead, over on the side of the face over here. You can see that we've got all of these little areas that are imperfections in the skin still, okay? Like over here, over here, across the chin area here. Just overall, you know, we've got little red patchy areas on his skin tones, even after we've edited or, you know, we've ran the heel action okay so let's turn that layer off okay i've got the second layer active here i'm going to go back to filter and this time i'm going to go retouch for me but i'm going to click on retouch for me dodge burn watch the magic happen here click it once and there we go look at that as i zoom in there's the original, there's the after. It's keeping everything pretty realistic, retaining skin textures and yet giving us excellent results. Let me apply this to the high resolution image, okay? Actually, let's create another layer and even run it again. Filter, retouch for me, dodge and burn. They don't take time to load. They're there. They just do the work they're supposed to do. Now, let's put that overlay onto the areas where I said I think it needs work. And let's see how this AI engine decided to work it. There and there. You can see exactly 
those are the areas that I would have identified for the AI technology done it for me and it's fixed it up. That is pretty amazing. That was two steps, literally two steps to fix up this portrait. And when you go back and you reference how long it took me to do the frequency separation on this young lad's face, there's where you're gonna see the worth of having these plugins, okay? Now again, just to remind you down below, I'm in the links of the video. I've shared the links, go and have a look at their uh, plugins. For me, they definitely, definitely fit in excellently into my workflow. This is what I've been looking for for all this time I've found it. And you know, I want to I want to share this with you guys so you can go out there and can speed up your workflow with these processes and you don't have to sit and edit through all the little you know all the little blemishes, etc. You know, you, you've got the AI technology out there that can do this for you, can speed up your workflow and really help you get things going. You know, especially when you've got multiple images like this that you need to fix up quickly, you don't have time to mess around with the spot healing brush tools, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this, this, this process just really alleviates all of that time that you would take to, to edit a portrait of this nature. Now, you know, there's certain little areas that it still needs to be tweaked, uh, but essentially, you know, you can just come in here like this and fix up those little areas and you're done, okay? There isn't these minutes or hours of editing out blemishes and acne, etc. This is a super quick artificial intelligent way of doing this process. And you know, there it is, folks. Thank you very much for tuning in to today's overview. I hope you enjoy going forward with these plugins. They do update them fairly regularly. So that's something else that shows the team's responsiveness and you know willingness to improve their plugins. So folks, thank you very much for tuning in to today's tutorial and we'll see you in the next session. Ciao for now.